What's up guys? I'm going to show you just real quick how to check what springs you should have on your dirt bike via Racetech's website here. So I'm just bringing up Google Chrome. I'm going to Racetech.com Okay, we're going to go to spring rate search. And pick your manufacturer model number here. Let's go Kawasaki. Let's go. Let's go KX250F. 2015. And then you're going to have this page come up, and it's basically going to show you all the products Race Tech has to offer for your 2015 KX250F. And there are a lot of them. <clears throat> so we go right here under fork springs and go calculate spring rates and display available springs here you're going to put in your information motocross standard we're going to go uh, novice c-class standard height standard tank and uh, 220 pounds without gear calculate spring rate <laughs> Okay, it brings it up right here. Stock spring rate on that bike is 0.98 kilograms per millimeter, and the recommended is 949. So you just look at the closest available. Um, 98 stock Race Tech offers a 96 and a 1. So you would want something, you know, 949, that's practically 95. So you'd want right around 96, and that's going to put you a little closer. For shock, we do the same thing. Gotta love this fast internet. Alright. Shock. Calculate and display available springs. Motocross. Uh, novice C. Center height. 20 pounds. Calculate. <laughs> Okay, and there we are. Here's the shock right here below it. Rear spring, stock is a 5.4, 220 pounds. You need a 5.9. So they offer a 6.0, which would be your closest one. That's that's about two springs up from a 5.9, so from a 5.4, so... That's going to make a substantial difference, and it's just an easy way to check your fork springs and see just and your shock springs and just see just how how far you are off. Because uh, no matter how how much money you put into your motor or, or suspension, if you don't have the right spring rates, it's not going to work as it should. Thanks, guys.